Good evening and a warm welcome to Empowering You for Victory. I trust you've had a great weekend with your family and you have enjoyed our Sunday morning and Sunday night services. They are kept online, both on Facebook and YouTube, for you to go back and study over and over again. Tonight, I want to speak to you about the faith that a teenager had. Mary, the earthly mother of Jesus, she said these wonderful words, let it be done unto me according to your word. Let it be done unto me according to your word. That means you must allow the will of God to be fulfilled in your life. You allow the will of God to be fulfilled in your life by a constant, consistent decision to yield to God all the days of your life. I pick it up in Luke chapter 1 from verse 26. Onwards, in the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent from God unto this a city of Galilee named Nazareth. So we've been saying the word that God speaks is a sent word. And in this particular uh, case, he had a messenger, Gabriel, the archangel. He gave his word to Gabriel to go down into the earth and give it to a particular person, a teenager called Mary. To a virgin espoused to a man, meaning he was a, she was engaged to a man whose name was Joseph of the, of the house of David. And the virgin's name was Mary. And the angel came in unto her and said, Hail, thou that art highly favored. The Lord is with you. Blessed art thou among women. Take note that the word brought a salutation to her and told her that she is highly favored. Why? Because God is with her. And amongst all women, she is blessed. What a message from the Lord. Family, when last did you get a message from God? Whether you read it in the Bible, or your pastor preached it to you, or the Spirit of God highlighted a scripture. When last did you get that? Could it be that you're not fellowshipping sufficiently? You're not going to services sufficiently? Could it be that you're neglecting the assembling of the saints as the manner of some is? And so Mary got this salutation. And when she saw him, she was troubled at his saying and cast in her mind what manner of salutation that should be. You see, family, because we're so used to a fallen world, we're so used to doing things and believing things and speaking things contrary to God's word, we flow with the world. And when we get a message from God, we have to renew our minds to retain that message and to keep that word in our hearts. And she had the same difficulty. She was troubled at his saying and cast in her mind what manner of salutation an angel could bring from Jehovah Jesus that she is highly favored of God because God is with her and she's blessed among women. The angel said unto her, fear not, Mary. Wow. God is saying to you today, don't enter into this type of relationship with fear. God has not given you the spirit of fear but of love, power, and the reasoning of a sound mind. Fear not, Mary, for thou hast found 
favor with God. You see, she was a teenager, she was a virgin, and she had found favor. She found it through her lifestyle, through how she walked and how she lived before God. She found favor with God. And the angel says, Behold, thou shalt conceive in thy womb and bring forth a son and call his name Jesus. He shall be great and shall be called the son of the highest and the Lord God shall give unto him the throne of his father David and he shall reign over the house of Jacob forever and of his kingdom there shall be no end. What a powerful prophetic word did Gabriel, the archangel, bring from God because God said it. God sent his word. Now you can find this word also in the Old Testament that God had sent the word. But when the right time came, God sent a messenger. Family, God said the things that I'm teaching right through the Bible. But at a Kairos moment, God has called me as a messenger to also speak to you what God already said. This is the right time now. This is the season. And what God has sent me to say to you is God having spoken his word to you. So Mary said unto the angel, how shall this be, seeing I know not a man? And the angel answered and said unto her, the Holy Ghost shall come upon thee, and the power of the highest shall overshadow thee. Therefore also that holy thing which shall be born of thee shall be called the Son of God. And behold, thy cousin Elizabeth, she hath also conceived a son in her old age. And this is the sixth month with her who was called barren. For with God, nothing shall be impossible. With God, nothing shall be impossible. I believe it was Friday where we said, it's impossible for God to lie. That is one impossibility. But Everything else that God says with God, nothing, nothing, nothing shall be impossible. Mary said, Behold the handmaid of the Lord, be it unto me according to thy word. And the angel departed from her. You see, as soon as she yielded to the message of the Lord, and the angel felt it's accomplished already. As soon as Mary said, be it unto me according to thy word, it was a done deal. Because she went to Elizabeth and she saluted Elizabeth. As she greeted Elizabeth, John the Baptist leapt in Elizabeth's womb and she was filled with the Holy Spirit. So Mary had already conceived. The Virgin Mary had already conceived the seed in a womb even though it was an impossible situation. Gabriel brought a sent word from God for Mary. It was an impossible situation for Mary. You see, family, if it was possible for you to do it without God, then God wouldn't need to give you his word. I have found in my life for 46 years that when God gives me his promises or finds something he said to me, I know it's impossible for me to do it in my own strength. The things that are impossible for man 
are possible with God. I choose to live in a possibility zone. And you see, Mary asked this question. How is this going to happen seeing I don't know a man? You see, sometimes your mind is locked into how is this going to work? How am I going to get just healed with the word of God? How am I just going to get prosperous and become a multi-millionaire with the word of God? We are so locked into the natural that it's, we find it difficult to make a transition to the supernatural. We're so locked into history and how our parents were and everything that is happening in our circumstances that we find it so hard to make this transition to go into the spiritual. We're locked into the natural. Even though we're born from heaven and born from above, but God wants you to make that transition. So Mary asked a question. How are you going to do this? How is God going to do this? That's why our preaching and teaching is focused on the ways of the Lord also. There is a way that God's going to do it. So the angel said to Mary, the Holy Ghost shall come upon you. The Holy Spirit, God the Spirit, will come upon you. And the power of the highest, the power of God, will overshadow thee. Therefore, as a result of God coming upon you, as a result of this omnipotency of God being a shadow of glory over your life, therefore that holy thing which shall be born of you now shall be called. God called Jesus forth, the Son of God. And the angel said, For with God... Nothing shall be impossible. You see, friend, that is my heart's desire for every one of you. That you will be convinced. You'll be totally persuaded that what God had promised, he will bring to pass. Even if you cannot compute it, your beliefs can be greater than your compute. Your beliefs can be greater than your intelligence. And the Holy Ghost will come upon you. The power will overshadow you. And that holy thing that shall be born of you shall be called the Son of the Highest, the Son of the Most High God. And so it's wonderful how Mary responded. And I'm praying that you'll get turned on to the word of God and you will respond the same way that that which is born of you now will be that which pertains to sons of God in the earth. The manifestation of the sons of God. Mary said to Gabriel, be it unto me. I can't do it. I don't know a man. My situation is impossible. I cannot even figure it out. But there's one thing I'm going to do. I'm going to yield to what you said. I'm going to receive your word. And I will conceive it. Be it unto me according to thy word. Very interesting. It was settled. The seed was planted. And she conceived that word right there and then. And the angel, Gabriel, departed. Why? Mission accomplished. Family, I want to pray for you today. That you will stagger not at the promises of God. But you will be strong in faith like Father Abraham. Giving glory to God. And really, it just simply means this. I yield to God. I don't know how it's going to be, but I do believe in the omnipotence of God. 
that God is all-powerful, that the Holy Spirit is omnipotent. He'll, he'll come upon you. The Holy Spirit come upon you today. The power of the Most High overshadow you. And the promises you've got in your heart and mind will come to pass. Because with God, nothing shall be impossible. God richly bless you. Allow me to pray for you. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray for all our online viewers. I thank you for miracles, signs, and wonders, transformation, word of God being manifested. In the mighty, mighty, mighty name of Jesus, I pray. Amen and amen. God richly bless you. I'll see you tomorrow at 7 o'clock. Bye-bye.